Here's so we get you up on the video because we put all this. What what you hear will actually be on our website at 999ktdy.com probably about tomorrow. Uh, Dr. Kevin's here with the Bryant Wellness Institute of Acadiana Institutes. Is it Toots? Yes. There's Institutes. Two, there's multiple. <laughs> Of Acadiana. Yeah. Um, it's Wellness Wednesday on KTDY, and today he came in and you said you're going to talk about Thanksgiving tips. Yeah. Can y'all believe it's Thanksgiving? I, I can't. Doc, I can't. It's, I, I just can't. It, Christmas will yeah. be here before you know it's it. It's hard to imagine that, that, that this year flew by flew so by. fast. Flew it was by. like it was just summer last week, you know? Do you think, is, is it because we're getting older? Is that what happens? It seems to be. I don't know. <laughs> it seems to be. It just seems like this year just flew by. But I, I wanted to share some tips with everyone today on how not to gain 10 pounds next week. Um, you Here, know, I got one for you. Yeah. Don't eat. <laughs> you know, but on the other hand, it is Thanksgiving, and don't worry about it too much. I mean, don't stress yourself out. I know I'm going to eat plenty next week, but today I wanted to share with everyone how to compromise with yourself, how to still eat and enjoy yourself next week, but not gain too much weight in the process. And so I, I think I have some real world things that if if everyone will follow these, it'll help keep them on their nutrition plan. But at the same time, they can still enjoy themselves and within reason, eat whatever they want. Sounds good. Now, by, the way, well, by the way, I'm watching you in the video monitor here and um, you're about to bust out that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Would, you, would you stop working out already? Stop working yeah. out. That's I've been, enough. I've been pushing it pretty hard. Lately. I can yeah. tell. <laughs> Look, I'm looking in the monitor. I'm like, is that the same person? Because the camera picks up a little bit different stuff. Uh-huh. Jeez. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So my if first, that's a medium, we're going to need to go to an extra large we next to, week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, somebody accused me the other day of having my sleeves hemmed, like I make my sleeves tighter than what the shirt originally came with, and I definitely do not do that. <laughs> no. No. No, you can see it. I mean, <laughs> stop you. working out. That's enough. Okay, so my first <laughs> tip is, you know, this, this is a really big one, is wait until Thanksgiving to cheat on your nutrition plan. In other words, what I'm saying is, you know, we start making the pa- the cakes and the pies and the cookies mm. and all this stuff two or three days before. Mm-hmm. So people start to eat really bad like two or three days before Thanksgiving. And then there's all the leftovers. So they eat t- bad two or three days after Thanksgiving. Tell your, Give yourself Thanksgiving Day to eat pretty much whatever you want within just reason. blow it up. And then get right back on track. So mm-hmm. if you just sort of pick one day, you're not going to hurt yourself at all. But if you start the the cakes and all that three or four days before and you go three or four days after, then now you've got five or six days there where you really don't eat the things that you should. And that's going to really blow up your nutrition plan. So if you just give yourself Thanksgiving Day um, and then after Thanksgiving Day, send all the pies and stuff home with the kids. You know, get rid of that stuff. <laughs> get, the, get that stuff out of the house. You know, you know, I that's a. I think that is probably the greatest suggestion of all the ones that you're going to ha- give today. Is just send it home with somebody. Get it out. Else. There. Get it out of the house. Because <laughs> yeah. if it's not there, you can't eat it. Right. Well, and if somebody tries to send it home with you, you say no, thanks. I'm good. What I had here was fine. You know what? I moved near a, a Dollar General though. And in the middle, of the, it stays open till like ten o'clock. And I keep, I don't keep anything in my house to eat on purpose. Mm-hmm. But they put up that doggone Dollar General by me, <laughs> <laughs> and, and them clover cookies, them clover yeah. valley cookies. Uh, yeah. It's the same cookies the Girl Scout. They, you know, there's an assembly line, and Clover Valley makes them for Girl Scouts and for for their name. Oh, so it's like. The same cookie goes down the same assembly line, and one cookie goes that way, it goes into a Girl Scout cookie box, and one cookie goes that way, and it goes into a Clover Valley box. So that Dollar General thing, that it's the same girl, it's yeah. the Girl Scout cookies, essentially. But buy them from Girl Scouts. Unless yeah. they're not selling them, then you can go get them. Or just give no. the Girl Scouts some money and buy your cookies buy, where yeah. you want. Yeah. <laughs> but I go in there, and, and see, I, I look around the house, and I go, I have nothing to eat. And that's by design. But they put up that dog on Dollar General, and now I, until ten o'clock, <laughs> yeah. I could go get them cookies. <laughs> so See? it's like nine fifty-five. Like, I've got just enough time. I pull in there on two wheels, you know, and they look. Oh, here he comes again. <laughs> so golly, so, but that's a that's a great. So I what think we that's need to great. do is set your watch a few minutes fast, yeah. so yeah. That you, it, you'll closed. think it's because closed. Because you know what happens? I sit at the house. I, so I'm so stupid. I sit at the house and I go, no, don't do it. No, don't do it. Watch the clock. No, yeah. don't do it. Watch it. Watch the clock. No, don't do it. And I'm about 9:48, you know, uh-huh. I'm like, holy crap, I gotta get in the car, <laughs> you know. Oh, that's funny. So anyway, but you know, a lot of times people will be eating really good until the holidays, and then they'll get completely off track. 
So what I'm saying about just give yourself Thanksgiving Day is it keeps that from happening. You know, you start eating bad a couple of days before, then you really eat bad on Thanksgiving, then you eat all the leftovers, then pretty soon you're just back eating bad again. So yeah. give yourself Thanksgiving Day to just sort of blow eat, it out. Yeah, blow it out. Eat whatever you want within reason, mm-hmm. and get right back on track. Why well, you gotta day. add that part within reason? <laughs> within reason. <laughs> and so number two, and this is when I say within reason, what we're talking about is when you're fixing your plate. Pick the proteins over the carbs. Fill your plate up with the turkeys and the meats and keep the sides to as minimum as you can and still enjoy yourself. So protein's going to fill you up and it will not make you gain weight. So put a little bit more meat and a little less mashed potatoes when you're fixing your plate. Okay. And so just sort of within reason, you know, kind of keep a keep a healthier balance there. Eat a little more meat than you normally would and a little less of the uh, the carby sides than what you normally would. And that'll make a big, big difference. And then the third thing that I have is get a little active, you know, um, get out in the yard and do something, throw the football with the kids, Frisbee, whatever the kids are out there doing, just get out there and move around a little bit. And that, that's going to help you digest your food. Um, it's going to help you feel better and you won't feel just so weighted down and full, you know, but Thanksgiving for adults is that we eat as much as we can. And then we take a nap watching football on the couch usually. Well, at least for the men it is, Yeah. you know, for the women, Thanksgiving is a ton of work, but for, you know, for the men, we usually pig out and then fall asleep on the couch watching football. And that really will spike your insulin levels. So get outside, do a little something, walk around, move a little, move around a little bit. You'll feel much better from that. I have a question. You say uh, choose the proteins. Does that go for men and women? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. A- yeah. Absolutely. Just try to do a little less of the the carby stuff. You know the uh, the. So candy it's not just yams. a guy thing. Not at all. Okay. A little less of the candy yams. A little less of the mashed potatoes. A little bit more of the you know, the, the vegetables and, and the fruits and a little more of the proteins will, will make a, make a big difference there. Um, so i tell you what, after the break, uh, uh, I have two really good tips on desserts that will help keep everyone reasonable this Thanksgiving. But Hey, like I said, it's Thanksgiving. Don't feel guilty about eating. Don't beat yourself up about it. Enjoy yourself. Eat what you want within reason and then get right back on track the next day and you will be just fine. It won't blow up your nutrition plan. If you're on a weight loss plan, if you follow these little simple rules, you'll be fine. So stay tuned after the break. I have some really good tips on how you could do a dessert and, and and not gain a lot of weight there. 